In prehistoric Australia, terrifying monsters competed to see who would eat a human first. Would you survive an encounter with them? Modern alligators can outrun humans only in water, but once on land, they become almost helpless. But this giant turbo crocodile on steroids had long legs like predatory dinosaurs. Scientists believe that ancient Australian quincon could easily outrun a human. At up to 7 meters long and weighing over 200 kilograms, it's like a toothy projectile that would knock you off your feet before tearing you apart with its blade-like teeth. And not just hypothetically, this definitely happened because Quinconas went extinct only 10,000 years ago, so humans shared Australia with them for almost 40,000 years, and someone definitely met their end because of turbo crocodiles. You could only hide in the bushes. But another monster was already waiting for you there. If this six-meter snake found you sleeping, you wouldn't wake up. Womnambi went extinct everywhere else 55 million years ago, but not in Australia. Like a modern anaconda, it would strangle its prey with an iron grip, gradually breaking bones. But here's the catch. You have to search for anacondas in the jungle, while Wanambi were common all over Australia. It's better to climb rocky cliffs where you can easily escape Wanambi. But at the top, a real dragon awaits you. Distant relatives of these monsters, Komodo dragons, typically attack prey smaller than themselves and rarely go after humans. However, to the Australian Megalania, you're just a small snack. Being slightly larger than the Quincana, this ancient dragon could weigh up to one and a half tons, so it was capable of just one quick lunge. But that's all it needs. One bite is enough for Megalania. Its monstrous teeth are venomous, preventing blood from clotting. So, Megalania would just wait for you to bleed out from multiple wounds. Or, if it's impatient, it might start eating you alive while you're still weak. How did other Australian animals survive alongside such nightmarish reptiles? mostly by being giant themselves. Getting into a fight with a regular kangaroo might leave you with just bruises, but a punch from this two-meter-tall muscle-bound Procomptodon Goliath could easily break your rib cage or pierce your ribs with its long claws. So if even kangaroos are deadly, what's next? The fightless bird Dromornis could protect itself pretty well with its nearly three meter height, and in danger, it wouldn't just strike intimidating poses like modern ostriches. The heavy beak of Dromornis could instantly crush a human skull or any animal's head. There's no point in running because Dromornis is faster. Instead, it's better to lie down, play dead, and hope the bird isn't hungry. However, this puts you in even greater danger. Even a small elephant can easily trample a human. Now, imagine you're in the path of a herd of giant wombats. Diprotodon is like a Volkswagen beetle with bone-crushing jaws. While these creatures were herbivores, if one decided to take a bite out of you, its bite force of 11,000 newtons was enough to snap your femur in half. With such an injury in prehistoric Australia, you'd face a long and agonizing demise. If you're really lucky, the continent's most terrifying warm-blooded predator might come to your rescue. The killer koala. And this is no joke. When a big cat attacks a person today, it's usually the victim's fault because these predators promise a bloodbath just by their appearance. The ancient marsupial lion was smaller than today's big cats and looked more like a hyena, but it was far more dangerous than all of them combined. A modern lion can take up to 15 minutes to suffocate its prey, but the marsupial lion 
man with its specialized teeth inherited from koala relatives and powerful muscles could finish the job in just one minute. Even with much larger prey, its bite force was the strongest among all known mammals. Even Diprotodon wouldn't hold this predator for long. You better run. But you can't escape by climbing because the marsupial lion had huge claws and could climb anywhere. Usually, it used these claws to drag its prey to a secluded spot and devour it away from dangerous reptiles. Even in prehistoric Australia, teeming with monsters, the marsupial lion was the alpha predator. And yet, within a few tens of thousands of years after humans arrived, none of these creatures remained on the green continent. So it looks like we finally found the scariest creature of prehistoric Australia.